Hey, it's Chris. For today's Wellness Wednesday video, I want to talk about five quick tips on how we can create time to pursue our dreams on a day-to-day -day basis. Oftentimes, we find ourselves telling ourselves that we don't have time. We simply don't have time. Our schedules are crazy. We have a laundry list of things on our plate that we simply cannot move. The thing is, is that yes, there's only 24 hours in a day, but it really comes down to, in my opinion, well, a number of things. But one of the key things that we need to think about is, well, how are we using that time? And are we using it to our advantage when it comes down to allocating the most amount of time in the most effective way possible to pursue something that really resonates with, with us, the thing that we want to pursue. Maybe we have to get uncomfortable, get out of our comfort zone to be able to pursue that thing. So the first tip on my list is to become a morning person. There's so many studies and there's so much research out there about super successful people and their morning routines where they wake up at like 5 a.m. and they just knock out a certain routine that helps them get their day started and helps get their mind right for the day. So for example, I'm reading on Business Insider. It says Shark Tank investor Kevin O'Leary checks the international markets the moment he gets up and he says, good investors don't stay in bed in North America with strings untied overseas because if something happens in London or Tokyo while they're sleeping, everything could change. After that, he works out for 45 minutes while catching up on some business TV. Your health is one investment that is guaranteed to pay dividends. And then he's off to the office by the time the markets open at 9.30 a.m. Look at Cal Newport, author of So Good They Can't Ignore You. The article says after waking up, he stops only for a glass of water before heading outside with his dog. During their walk, he'll listen to audiobooks and do pull-ups at a local playground. And he says, this time of year, it's dark when the walk starts, but I don't mind the solitude. For me, interesting thoughts have a tendency to emerge when the rest of the world is quiet. And when he arrives home, he employs a hack that allows him to stay on top of non-work productivity. He'll dedicate 20 to 30 minutes to household tasks like paying bills or researching a contractor for a project. And he says, this simple morning habit allows me to stay reasonably on top of these obligations while expending a minimum of energy in making decisions about what to work on and when. So these are just a couple of examples. If you just simply Google morning routine successful people, you'll find so many different ways that people craft their mornings in order to get their mind right for the day and taking care of perhaps certain key action items before the day really revs up and gets started. And one of the people I highly recommend you check out is Jeff Sanders and um, he has a podcast called The 5am Miracle and he's a big proponent of waking up early and tackling your day first thing. So definitely check that out. I'll go ahead and link his blog right below this video. Some of the things that you can consider doing in your morning routine is really taking that time to meditate, pray, write out uh, a to-do list of like key things that will help push your dream forward. And exercising first thing in the morning is also a great thing. I find that when I exercise first thing, it helps get my mind right. A lot of great ideas come to me when I'm working out. The second tip is to spend less time on social media. I'm looking at an article right now that says, according to new data, the average user logs 1.72 hours per day on social platforms, which represents about 28% of all online activity. And so yeah, how many of us are obsessed with like Facebook and Twitter and every other social media platform known to man? It's so easy to get caught up in your phone and all of the updates and notifications hitting your phone and let alone the wearable technology where you get a notification or something and all of a sudden like you're distracted and whatever you are focusing on is now drawn into some update or notification. And we really need to be mindful of how much of a time suck that is. And it's not just time Time spent on social media. It's the classic activity of coming home after work and watching television or Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is. And it's another way that, yes, we're saying that we're detoxing from the day where we are relaxing and so forth, but it's also time that you could have reallocated towards working on your action plan, your business plan. My third tip is to seriously think about your commitments and whether or not these commitments that are currently on your plate 
are lending themselves towards your your dream, your big goal. It's so important to not commit yourself to something that you probably or may not have time for in the very near future. And it's also really important to think about whether or not the commitments that are on your plate are actually contributing or lending themselves towards your dream. If you find that you have commitments on your plate that are more of a time suck and they're not really adding to you, or if you feel like, well, the commitment had its time and place and now it's time to move on to something different, that's okay too. Oftentimes we have a hard time letting go and getting comfortable with the discomfort of letting go of certain things on our plate, certain commitments and obligations in order to take that next step towards a dream that we you know, really want to accomplish. My fourth tip is to use your break time to pursue your hustle. Now, your break time is also an opportunity for you to make time for your dream. How do we use our lunch breaks? How do we use those breaks during the day? Are you spending most of your time on Facebook, catching up on news, etc., or could you reallocate that time to build out your dream? And if you're really excited about something, a new project, a new goal, you should actually be excited about using your break time to pursue that thing, that goal. And my fifth tip is to plan ahead and set a really good schedule where you know exactly when you're going to be able to allocate time and create that time to work on your goal. If you have a super busy day, you really do need to consider ways that you can carve out that time. Because if you don't pre-carve out that time, the time will not appear. In fact, other things will distract you. You'll get a zillion notifications on your phone or in your email, people saying they need different things. And the time that you thought you had at one o'clock or 12 o'clock to work on something that really meant a lot to you got sucked up by something that was a completely like non-dream related thing. And all of a sudden you're like, where'd the time go? If you think about it over the course of days and months, that's a lot of time that you could have actually carved out for your dream that you allowed other people or other things to you know take with them to take away and it's okay for a certain period of time during the day to put yourself first and to put your dreams first your goals first otherwise how are you going to get ahead how are you going to move forward it does sound selfish and many of us especially nurturers uh, really feel uncomfortable doing that but if you really want to see something move forward you're going to have to be selfish at least for a portion of the day to make something come to pass so yeah, that's my Wellness Wednesday video. I hope you enjoyed these tips. I have more videos on the way. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye.